In today's video, we're gonna play a game and analyze it. Yes, so this is gonna be a shorter video <laughs> after the really long videos uh, recently. I basically only did 30 puzzles and, and that's it. I didn't have much time for other stuff. Okay, this person is playing fast, which is kind of good. Because that means <laughs> they're probably gonna make a very simple mistake. Um, I'm kind of tempted to already start attacking. The knight usually comes out here too, which looks very funny. Okay, he wants the Fianchetto there, in which case we might push this here. Again, I'm tempted to come out here. We also have an opportunity of just coming here. We want to break. Wow, okay. Uh, what happens if we come here? We attack the bishop and he comes to the side here. We can come here. If, yeah, I think we're going to attack the bishop. I like that idea. These are defending. Defended. Wow. Oh my god, we're pushing him so far back. I'm tempted to even go with my... <laughs> okay, okay. This is definitely winning for us, right? All right. What have I learned recently, guys? Middle game concepts, right? Active versus inactive pieces. First of all, we have our bishops that are still in their starting squares. But I feel like we could take advantage of the position by getting closer to our enemy. Maybe even sacking our knight. After he takes, we come in with our queen. I think that... I, I kind of... I really like that idea. I don't know if it's too... If it's stupid or not. But the idea is we force his stuff so far back. But we don't have enough support after the knight stack to actually attack this square. Like we need to bring the bishop into the game some. Or I feel like it's blocked off. Like, can we push and just exchange things to open this up? Then our king could get hit potentially as well. Do I want to do that crazy move? <sighs> I'm tempted to push my pawns, but let's think. My king is not castled. My bishops are not out. Maybe we just... Maybe let's not rush. And let's just continuously add pressure here. Right? We're just going to continuously add pressure. The... I feel like there's a need to rush because he, he could still develop his pieces. But no, let's continuously add pressure. Um, okay, this gives us a check, which right away I see, but obviously that doesn't mean it's good. Uh, if his bishop comes out, we take away his powerful bishop, but his knights get kind of to an, an annoying place. The other idea is attacking the rook, making the rook move to the side, and then bringing our knight here. That looks so sexy. We could, oh my god, yeah, I like that move. Moving the rook, and then we bring our knight into the game. Because we could take attacking the bishop, which will be trapped. And this is still defended. And he can't move this knight. Holy schmoly, bro. Holy schmoly. Ooh, I think we're demolishing in this game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is exciting. Okay. He might take this pawn, right? He doesn't take the pawn. He moves the queen forward because he's thinking of castling soon. And maybe not being pinned so he can move his knight. So what can we do? We could take the pawn, forcing him to essentially take, and bring our queen into the game. Then he could just go back, right? Or we take, I, I, really, I just really like taking this pawn. I really like that idea. Uh, this is not a threat. I don't know why that would be. I really like taking this pawn as an idea because if he doesn't take, we could just go back and we're threatening a promotion already, so. And if he does take, we take back and we're up material, right? Oh, I didn't think about if he pushes forward. That's kind of interesting. But then... Huh. 
this is not a threat. He's obviously trying to castle. So we're just going to step back. And we're just going to push for promotion. I don't think he could do anything. The knight coming forward gets eaten. This knight gets eaten. But then can it be stopped? Wait, I didn't... Wait, I, I would rather just take it with the queen, actually. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, and my king is fine because of the knight on c3. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't see any potential checks this way. That could be annoying, but then we just bring our... That's not a check, bro. What am I saying? <laughs> That's not a check. This is this is a queen. Yeah, he might forfeit after this. Okay, now he takes it. Ah, uh, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Um. There's so much cool stuff here. Now, if we take... I don't really like that move. I really like this move, actually. No, because then he attacks our knight and our bishop, right? So it looks like a free pawn, but maybe it's not. Other idea is coming here, being aware of the bishop here. Other idea is just try to open up the position because we're winning by so much. Another idea is coming here, but he blocked his own bishop in for now. So, oh. another idea is coming here with the rook. Ooh, that looks sexy. That looks like such a good move. Why does that look like a good move? Because I'm attacking this pawn. And I'm kind of indirectly attacking that. But then he can move the rook here. But then we br bring the bishop to attack the rook. But then he just moves it back. And if we move the bishop back, he just comes back, right? So, maybe we bring our queen to this look here. So first, let's go with this rook move. There's also an idea that if our bishop can... Oh my god! If we take this... No, but then he'll just take with the pawn. Okay, I think this is definitely a great move. It's just increasing pressure in so many ways. I think that's a great move. We're running really low on time, though, so I might have to play a little faster. But the idea here... Oh my god, this is crazy. Um is that if I get my bishop here, it's supported, and I could possibly win a queen. Now I have to be careful of the knight coming in, but then I just take it with the pawn, and then I have to be careful of my king. Maybe I move the bishop, or, well, if the bishop's here, I can't move it there. Um, okay, so he, he does the move that we expect. Wait, no, that's not the move we expected. Can't we take this pawn now? If we take this pawn, what does black do? We're attacking the queen, essentially. Now, ah, he can go for a trade. And then everything gets traded off, and, and it kind of beats the purpose. Another idea, again, the queen coming here. So that after takes, if he takes... No, then our queen could become a target. I don't like that. Uh, I feel like the bishop coming here is takes too long. Again, we could come here. I don't know, man. Maybe it's fine. What if we take with the rook and we trade? All right, you know what? I have three minutes. I don't have time to think about it. The idea here is just simple. To come here. If he pushes the pawn, he loses a queen. No, he doesn't, because the knight could come here. But he loses a knight. And this gets opened up. Ooh, things would start opening up. My king really needs to get to safety soon. I have to be really careful about that. But then again, so many of his pieces are so far away from attacking me, and I'm, I'm piling pressure. Okay, yeah, we're just going to do this then. He's going to lose a knight, right?
I don't, you know, if he even sees this move. Yeah. After he takes, we have this move attacking the queen. <laughs> oh my god! And then the queen is forced here. Okay, so it does get her. And then we push the pawn and we actually trap the queen! Wait, no way that works. Holy schmoly, no way that works. He takes with this pawn. The rook comes in, the knight is defending. Ah, he could actually defend with the rook. Still, that would have been awesome. Yeah, he could defend with the rook. Another idea is we could bring our queen here. But let's just do this. I mean, if he doesn't defend with the rook, we trap his queen. Actually finding things I feel like a good player oh not only that guys not only that I have to be kind of careful actually losing my queen this way but not only that um I'm this is my highest elo right now so after this game it's gonna be my highest elo again <laughs> that's why you don't play fast even in the beginning, I, oh, I'm so curious if this game was good or if it had a bunch of mistakes and misses and blunder. I don't think I blundered anything, but who knows, right? I, he took it. Oh my god. He took it. Um, let's just defend. I gotta be careful here still, though. I wanna go for this check, but that looks crazy, no? Ooh. Check. Moves back. Okay, he's trying to apply more pressure. Um, I think he should have attacked here. So I'm thinking of this right now. Check. Okay, if he moves back, he loses his rook, right? So he's obviously not gonna do that. He's gonna take back. Then we check like this. He's forced here. Then what? No, that doesn't really make sense. We don't want to sack pieces. Oh, I could check and then bring the bishop back to protect. And then the knight comes in attacking, but the pawn is protecting here, and the queen comes here. That looks fine, actually. I can't believe he, 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 my opponent is just fighting still. I mean, it makes sense. I'm down time and stuff. But. All right, let's not overcomplicate this. We still have this check, which might be nice. Our queen is blocked in, which isn't nice, but in the next move, it should be able to get out. We might even be able to come here. You know, if he attacks here, we check, he takes, and we bring the bishop back here maybe because the pawn's protecting it also the knight's actually useful and the bishop but stopping rooks from coming here so i i think this is just completely winning that's a weird move did i miss something or like just blitzing that move out <laughs> like what especially if he moves this this rook that's even worse I think we're f oh, he's going to double his rooks. Hmm. Okay, I have a minute and a half. Let me stop talking. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, shit. Well, I, I knew he was going to double his rooks and I still let him. Why did I do that? To save my knight? Um, you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Let me not overthink. I'm still winning like crazy. That should be fine. 
Whew. I'm I'm very low on time, so I have to just make quick decisions here. You know the knight could have came in also. Maybe that was a bad decision. Maybe the knight could have came in and, and been annoying. Uh now it's completely winning though. Ah, if I move that if I move that pawn forward, he could come in and check me, so. Also, it takes away protection of my bishop here. So, we're just going to be very simple with our moves here. Okay? Low on time equals being simple. He has no way of coming into the position right now with his knight. So, we just bring the... Oh, we can't do that. Actually, yeah, we can. Just get rid of our rook. Are we getting rid of too many pieces? That's the question. Nah, we're gonna push this. We're gonna push the pawn. I think we're fine. Uh, maybe there was an idea here to kick out the kink. Again, I think I'm gonna look at the thing and it's just gonna say we're winning like crazy. There's, there's no way he could do anything, right? If you come here, I will sack my rook. I, I, I called it. Now that's protected, I could bring my king to just dem demolish that. Because the second his king moves away, I have this. And then he can't get into the position. Yeah, okay. Well. Well. Oh, the knight defends it anyway. This is a lost game. I have 55 seconds. I will not lose this game. Easy, baby. Easy. Okay, I might not find the best checkmate. Or the fastest. But that's okay. I just have to make sure not to screw up too badly on everything. Okay, I'm kind of getting scared. I'm running low on time. All right, I can't. I, I don't need to get scared here. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. I have a lot of time. Why? I have a lot of time. Why am I playing so fast? That's checkmate. Okay. Thank God, man. Thank God. Oof. Okay. Bro, can you just stop? We're just going to bring, bring pieces closer. That's it. Easy. If you move back. Okay, that's it. I win. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful here. Gotta be careful. I have 31 seconds. No reason to stalemate this game. No reason to stalemate. <laughs> no, <laughs> no reason to stalemate. That's not a stalemate. Okay. I mean, if he comes here, it's game over. So he's forced to come here. Okay, our bishop's not in the game anymore. So this is just a simple checkmate. Whew, I probably had 50 misses. 1583! Let's go! Zero oh, oh. Game review time! Let's see. Engine says... 90.9% accuracy! Oh my god, I had no mistakes in accuracies or pointers! Four misses. Okay, I'm guessing the misses were at the end of the game, but let's see. I'm not- I'm just gonna look at it with an engine. Oh my god, look! All of these moves are correct! 
Guys, you don't understand. I, this is like the best game I've ever played in my life. <laughs> like, I was thinking of every move and it it. it it's like I'm using an engine, but I'm not. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. Oh, okay, I didn't make the best move here. The best move here is to protect. What's the purpose of this move? We should learn something, right? <gasps> Making a hole for my knight to fork. And the queen is trapped. The queen is trapped. <laughs> Oh my god, that is an insane move. That is an insane move. <laughs> okay. That's okay, that's okay. Okay, okay. You know, apparently I should have brought the rook back. I didn't. You know what? Oh! The bishop idea was the best! Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, this is like, the, this is the best game I've ever- The amount of euphoria that I am feeling right now, the fact that you are witnessing this... Oh, it cannot be described. Okay, the pawn taken- Oh, interesting. Because after this move, is it just to win the night? What's the point here? <laughs> Am I winning both? What's going on here? Okay, this is just a way to continue the pressure, right? Continue the pressure here. Look at that. Jesus. So, no matter what, you end up trapping the queen. That is insanity. And if this... Wow. You just ignore it. That is crazy. Oh my god, I'm playing all the best moves. Oh, taking with the queen, because that opens up my castle, and he can't even threaten this. That makes a lot more sense, because after this, I could actually bring my queen closer. And after this, even, I, I could probably even sack my queen. But I come here defending. And then I'm okay with trading everything. Okay, interesting. But it opens up my king to castle. That's the difference with taking with the queen. <gasps> the bishop going back. Oh my god, look at me. Oh my god. And here, like, it did not matter. It literally did not matter. But the fact that I missed this is kind of sad. I had a minute left. Maybe, I, I think if I had more time, I would have seen this. The, the knight was trapped. Oh my god. What a crazy game. This game should be an explanation of sorts. Yeah, so all my misses were in the end game. <clears throat> I'm not mad about that. Uh, yeah, this was mate. Yeah. <laughs> I kept missing mate in one. <laughs> The knight protect the my my king here is just super powerful and the pawn was super powerful that that way too. Yeah, I mean I'm not mad about this. This was also a mate. Okay, that's a hard maiden one to see for me. Jesus Christ, that is actually crazy. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, wait, why didn't I do this move? That was dumb. <laughs> oh my god. I had a maiden too to bring the bishop in. I just didn't want to screw that up. Oh, guys, thanks for watching. If you watched till this far, say paper in the in the comments to let me know. I really appreciate it. And uh, have a great one. Bye bye.